There you go. So, reason I'm doing this is to um, replace a, uh, obviously to replace this with a, a standard seven pin, um, but these terminals up here are the, um, are the ones that uh, you know, charge up the, the internal battery and that's so I'm, I'm also adding in a, an Anderson plug on here. <clears throat> so and the reason I'm doing that is that these terminals only you know, have, have a certain current carrying capacity, um, whereas the Anderson plug uh, has like a you know, 50 amp thereabouts um, capacity. So what I'm trying to do here, and plus the, uh, my car is already wired up with a, uh, an Anderson plug. So I'd rather uh, put this to some sort of standard. Uh, I know this is a standard for, I mean, it's a standard for caravans, but, um, yeah, it was sort of, uh, barely hanging in there anyway. So, um, we'll fix it up. Okay. So I've taken the, uh, the old one off and this, uh, was attempting to be some sort of boot that, uh, sealed sealed around around there so um, and uh, it wasn't doing a good job it's a bit of a home uh, home for spiders so we'll uh, cut this one off there we go now <clears throat> I need to strip back or um, come down these are the two uh, the two main battery feed wires so um, what I'm going to do here is uh, actually being careful as well um, these may be uh, may be live with uh, you know, if they're connected straight to the battery um, so I'll cover them up but is uh, bring them down so they come out of further down here so they can get to the uh, the Anderson plug on the on the car way. What I'd like to do, um, probably a bit overkill, but I've got uh, this heat proof um, sleeve, and I was gonna, I, I was just gonna use this exp expanded sleeve, uh, braided um, sleeving, but. Um, I try to. I want to try to make it as uh, as waterproof as uh, possible. So I might might use a bit of this um, just to cover up. You know, I'll, uh, I'll poke it in the uh, at the end there, um, just to cover it up and and keep it uh, keep it weather resistant. So we'll see how we go. Uh, you can get these from you know it's Raceworks. Uh, it's pretty popular stuff. Um, you can get it from uh, TI Performance. So uh, just jump on their website, order it. Good bunch of people to deal with. Good stuff. That too. Anyway, so with this, uh, I've decided to go with the uh, the braided line um, with some uh, electrical tape over the. Uh, over the wires um, the other stuff was just a bit too sticky uh, and I didn't have the right size really anyway so what I've done electrical tape now with the braided braided line it wasn't the right size but as you can see you can uh, it's sort of variable size so uh, it'll um, it'll fit over I have famous last words obviously the, uh, the more it expands, the shorter it gets. So you need to put a bit extra. But as you as you come here, I'm gonna undo that uh, and put some tape over when you cut it. Otherwise, you'll just lose. It will just fray everywhere. Um, as you can see down there, I did have. Some... Okay. So we'll do this side, and then. Uh, we can start wiring up the plugs. 
There you go. So I've just uh, bunched up, obviously. This will have to spread out inside. So uh, just bunch these bits up before you put that on. Don't forget, you need to put your uh, sort of your cable locking um, bits on. Having a cry. So what I've had to do, um, just because it's a little bit thicker down here, is drill out that. When I say drill, just drill a bit in the hand and just sort of uh, open it up. You don't want to open it up too much. Uh, there is a a gland that goes over to give it a bit of uh, waterproofness, and it locks it as well. So as you as you lock that in, as you tighten that up. It uh, squashes that around the uh, around the wires and gives it some waterproof. Um, makes it waterproof. Well, it's the idea anyway. Whether they're actually really truly waterproof is another thing. So we uh, feed those wires in there. Uh, I've just put that little bit of uh, tape there just to um, you know, stop all the fraying of the. Can't put too much on, otherwise you won't get it over. Um, the fraying of the braid. That braid is great. Get some. So we've got that over. Um, this might be a little trickier because you can't drill that out. Not hopeful. Okay. So you can work that. You know, work that up there. Now. We will. Now, uh, so this this was just from uh, from Repco, eleven bucks or something, seven bucks. And um, that's your your strain relief as well. You need to put that in. So if you yoink it, and the idea a lot of people don't. Um, they have the bare wires coming out here. The idea is you have all the the tape go up into there. Um, you know, it, it just needs to come into the around there. This is where that uh, that rubber fits in there and gives it some waterproof. Um, and then you've got the strain relief there, and the wires will go into there. But um, yeah, if you if you've got bare wires coming out here, the water's just going to go straight up and oxidise everything, and you'll be replacing it in a few years. So. Uh, try to do it right and uh, now this one's even gives you the uh, bit of a rundown of, of which wires so um, yeah, plenty of info online just google seven pin plug and it'll tell you what colors go to go to what in the uh, in the um, in the connector so I'll, um, I'll try and put a link down below anyway one thing I've noticed is if I just wired it in directly the way this uh, this has it, it would be completely backwards because if you look at the uh, the way the plug is, the plug's going to go that way. So just be careful with that. So if you if you're checking, you know, looking at one plug and then wiring in the same, so they need to be wired that way. So uh, don't just go oop, oop, from there over to there. It's from there, swap it around to there. That's uh, obviously going to be plug, plug dependent, but um, you can see on the right here, signal right, and it's on signal left. So uh, just, be, just be wary of that. But uh, that's all I've done there. Loosen up all the uh, all the screws, so you can actually get everything in. Trying not to uh, be patronising, but there's these little little things that get um, you know if you don't think about, they get annoying. All right, so going backwards from the way we we went in. We go green.
so it's just about getting all the, the wires so now this is where you take off the tape add a bit more tape and as I said what you want to do is get the tape as far up as you can into here it will help with the, uh, the strain relief and it will help with the waterproofing okay now you want to try to get this braid as far up there as possible so as you you wink on that the braid comes up as well and then tape around the braid this keeps it all together and gives it the strength to last for years nice and tight Too much because you're still going to get all the, the rubber grommets and everything over as you can see that's in there now before you close it all up obviously we've got to put the cable any stress relief in there um, just make sure everything's tight Week. There's no little bits of uh, strands of wire crossing from one to the other. Okay, so what I end up doing cutting that off there's just not enough room for that um, that rubber to get into the uh, <clears throat> around the uh, the gland to get into the connector um, I suppose ideally you chuck a, a little bit of silicon in there and it just locks together when you do it up and right about now is when the uh, that should lock up the uh, the rubber There you go. Yep, we do the um, Anderson plug. You got cut. You got copies everywhere. Um, all you've got to do, you, you can get them cheap off eBay. Uh, these things, bloody fantastic. They just give you a little bit more to yoink on. You just um, mount that there. Once the terminals are on, and uh, just gives you a bit of a handle to pull on the uh, to get them out off the uh, the other side. So you can get crimpers for these. Uh, I generally sold them. So um, sold them onto there. They clip into here. Um, they've even got the positive and the negative written on there. So um, too easy. Now, for those that don't know, when uh, when soldering wires together, tin your wires. So make sure we have a, a clean tip. That's some good uh, good advice in many areas of your life. So, just that's tinning the uh, tinning the soldering iron as well. Um, if you've got a bit of extra flux there is flux and you see all that um you see all that that smoke is just the is the flux burning off um you need a lot of heat for these thick, thick wires 
I'm using a way too small soldering iron. Uh, you can see that smoke is the flux in the solder. I'm doing this really awkwardly with the wrong tools. You need to solder won't flow if a it's dirty, the wire's dirty, and b there's not enough heat in there. Feeding the solder in. So what you got, I'm trying to sort of do it for too long because the solder will wick down into here um, and give you a bit of a, uh, a breaking point. But what you've done now is get a good mechanical bond between the wire, the copper and the solder. So all you need to do when you're soldering it to the terminal is heat them both up because the terminal will be full of solder as well heat them both up and just get the solder to flow into each other. So you've already, you're not, you're not doing two or three things at the one time. You've already done this part. The next one is just joining the, the two parts together with, through the solder. Let's see if I can do this one a little less awkward. As I said, always helps to use a bit more flux if you've got it. And this is just a no clean flux pen, flux in a pen. Uh, flux, all flux does is um, give you a, uh, cleans up the, oh, the joint. Uh, sorry, the, the copper. Again, I've got this thing cranking. And you need some solder there as a heat bridge, a bit of a uh, heat transfer. Just need to uh, keep feeding it in. Again, my solder is way too thin. <clears throat> Again, I've got the terminal, got a bit of flux in there. Stick the solder in, that way you know when it's hot as well. Shoot that burn stuff. Hit the base of that terminal. Oh, that's the flux. And then see so the solder melts. Get the heat going on the base. Everything's nice and hot. And that down the place down. Stick the terminal in and wait till it sets. Let's not expand with the tape on. No real best way of doing this. Other than trying to make it as neat as possible. Now when they when the terminals go in, they go in and push up against this little bit of metal that's in the uh, in there and clip behind that lip on the terminal. So I've done That's it. So, because they're quite short, just straighten them both up like that. As you can see, positive, 
positive. That little uh, lip there, that's got to fit over there as you go in. And as you push, you will see they come in like that and click in. Lost my muscles. Yeah, both clicked. So now, positive, negative, positive, negative, in, protected by braid, that is completely finished. Not too bad, if I do say so myself. Looks like a professional did it. Actually, not finished. These little things just go in there. Looks like I've uh, misplaced one, but I'll have to find another one. Like that. Job done. You've got a handle. You can uh, you can yoink on it with. Now we're finished.